Welcome to today's Tech Me Show. Today we're going to learn how to use Google's DNS. Uh, you may be asking yourself, why would I use Google's DNS? Well, really, you need to think of it like how Google tells you. It's basically like a switchboard. And when we're talking about the internet, Google is the internet to me, and as well as most people. Google knows all, really. And to be honest with you, I've done some st stress tests, and I've noticed a bit of a significant uh, change. It's a little bit quicker. Uh, but let's go ahead, not even bother talking anymore, and let's get on with this. Let's try and make this a quick video. Um, there's multiple ways we can go about this. Uh, but we're going to just do the normal one and not confuse anybody by clicking Start. And then we're going to go to Control Panel. Right? Now this is your default uh, Control Panel. We'll go forth and click where it says Network and Internet. And just click the Network and Sharing Center. And here you are. And go forth and choose your active uh, network connection. In order to do this, we're going to go forth and click where it says Connections. Which would also be uh, able to go to Change Adapter Settings by left-clicking that and going to your active connection. Right-clicking that and go forth and select Properties. Now that you have properties displayed, uh, you want to go forth and go to the uh, IPv version 4. Um, I could teach you how to do IP version 6, uh, but most people don't have uh, version 6 uh, enabled on their routers, um, so this is not going to be useful, but eventually it will be. So we'll just continue to do the IP version 4 and left click property. Now, as you see, here's the normal screen. Uh, it's blank. You want to go forth and select Use the following DNS server addresses. Left click that. Now you're given the ability to edit it. So let's go ahead and type 8. And then on your. It, you can't do tab on here because it just goes to the next thing. So. In order to slide through this easily instead of moving your mouse one by one by one, all you have to do is on your keyboard hit the right arrow key like so and then 8 and then 8 and then 8 and again I did this simply by pushing the arrow keys on the keyboard right so now you can do tab to go to the next one down and we'll do 8 8 but instead of double eights it's now 4 and 4 and now we'll go ahead and click OK and now we we'll go forth and select close. And how do we know we've done this correctly? We can go to the command prompt. Um, but what we're going to do now is now to make sure that we did this properly, right click the connection, left click status. Now we want to left click details. And as you see, we have our DHCP enabled with uh, uh, the DNS servers being 888. And that's only because we force that on our routers here. But nonetheless, that's all it takes in order to use Google's public DNS. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.